Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm back with a vlog for you today. It is Sunday morning. I have just made myself a coffee. I've got it in my Sasson Bell mug that I picked up down at Poundland and yeah, I'm just getting ready to head down to the boot sale today because the car boot sale is on and fingers crossed it's not raining for a change. It's actually looking quite nice outside. It's brightening up and I think we're going to be in for a day of sunshine today, which is very exciting. Behind me you may notice that I've got the lamp switched on that I picked up from the boot sale. Well, I picked up the lamp base and the shade separately. The base was two pounds and the shade was one pound. So that is my three pound lamp. And a few of you spotted it in the background. So thank you for the comments about the new lamp. I'm very pleased with it. If it's Sunday morning when you're watching this, I hope you've got a nice drink on the go or whatever time it is that you're watching. We'll have a quick sip and then we'll get into the video. Can't beat a cup of coffee on a Sunday morning. And I'm quite tired this morning because I stayed up quite late last night watching a movie. As you may know, I'm working with Sky Cinema. It's part of the Sky Cinema Club. And the film that I watched, oh, did you hear my ankle crack then? The film that I watched last night is called To Catch a Killer. And it's a thriller. Thrillers wouldn't normally be my first choice. However, I really enjoyed this film last night. I'm just gonna read you what it says. Eleanor, played by Shailene Woodley, is a talented but troubled rookie detective wrestling with the demons of her past. When she is called to the scene of a brutal mass shooting, the work of a new and terrifying murderer. Eleanor must stop at nothing to bring this elusive murderer to justice. So the film starts with New Year's Eve celebrations in Baltimore. The fireworks are going off and in amongst these celebrations some shootings happen. And that's where we're introduced to the main character which is Eleanor who is a young detective. I really liked her character. I thought it was great to see a female lead in this kind of role. I thought the film was really nicely shot. It was very atmospheric and it's one of those films where I just kept watching from start to finish. I didn't really look up so I was highly gripped by it and yeah I really enjoyed it. I probably will need to start watching more thrillers. If you've got any recommendations for thrillers or kind of action films then do let me know because as I say it's probably one of the genres that I just don't go to as a first choice but yeah I probably should watch more because I found this really gripping and exciting to watch there is quite a lot of violence in it there's obviously shootings within the film so do keep that in mind and To Catch a Killer is a Sky original and that's going to be premiering on Sky Cinema on the 27th of May actually another one that I must add to my list is Deadshot which is another Sky original and that is premiering on the 12th of May. And it says, when a border ambush goes wrong, a retired Irish parliamentary, played by Colin Morgan, witnesses the fatal shooting of his pregnant wife by an SAS officer. After outwitting the SAS, now wounded and presumed dead, he escapes, taking his revenge to the dark and paranoid streets of 1970s London. I'm definitely adding that to my watch list. I'm going to leave both of the trailers to these two movies in the description box so you can have a little watch of those and get a sense of the film. And also they've got a new pop-up on Sky Cinema this month, which I am very excited about. And that is the rom-coms pop-up. That's supporting the release of Tickets Paradise. Let me know in the comments what your favourite rom-com is. I always love to get your film recommendations. But yeah, I'll leave all the information in the description box, along with more information about Sky Cinema. And thank you so much to Sky Cinema for working with me as always. It's always a pleasure and I love discovering new films to recommend to you as well. Right then, we'll have another quick gulp of the coffee because it's actually time to head off. I've got my small change with me. I've actually got a few notes. I've got a bit of an emergency fund in case we see any amazing things down at the boot sale. My bag is ready to go. I always take my backpack with me in case I find any larger items, along with a couple of carrier bags because you never know what you'll pick up. And yeah, we'll head down there. The sun is shining. Woohoo! And look at this. We have the perfect day for it. I feel like it's been a while since we had this kind of weather for the boot sale, so it'd be nice to go in and see things on the tables without um, them all being covered in tarpaulin. I often get asked which car boot I go to. This week I'm going to the Peckham car boot sale. Just had a 
throwback to, did you see that reserved sign, that plastic one? I used to pop those on the tables when I worked in a pub. Looks like the same one, so they're probably vintage from the 90s. So nice seeing everything out displayed nicely when you arrive rather than lots of rain. Stalls look like they're all really full as well. There's this one as well, and this is quite nice actually. This has got like a sort of horse, oh, yeah, horse bit thing. Keep inventory of what's selling for. No, 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 I've just bought that. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. I've actually got something in the back. Here's a room. Yeah, yeah, go. Take bank. Just looking at the links there, the um, links deodorant, because there's some that sell for an absolute fortune on eBay. I mean, the box that I just saw was quite new, but um, yeah, there's vintage ones that sell for loads. one I've uh, recommended it to Luke I think he's got it on his um, to read list one of my favorites I found this is really good too Ooh, <laughs> How much you want for it? <laughs> Sometimes I get a bit shy when I'm at the stall if the seller's there. Some stalls are quieter than others, so I'm happy to chat away while I'm walking around. This looks more like the pro sellers over here. 
think we've seen this bag before. We see this little clown in the um, high chair as well. So sad that no one's bought him, but <laughs> can't say I'm that surprised. I don't know. A lot of people find clowns creepy, don't they? I don't. I just end up feeling sorry for them, thinking they need to go to a good home. Someone needs to buy all the old clowns from the boot sales and collect them. Maybe that will be me when I retire. <laughs> It's funny because I've noticed that a lot of the sellers who come here regularly have the same spots. Um, yeah, like under the tree or along by the wall. <laughs> I like these vintage wine glasses. I've got some like those at home. It's really busy. That phone was a throwback, wasn't it? Anyone have one of those? Maybe when you were a teenager? <laughs> Maybe some of you still have that phone. <laughs> they were reliable, from what I can remember. How are you? This is cool. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I think you did twenty four months. It's an impressive Christmas jumper. Literally just bought my camping chairs, otherwise I'd be asking about the price for this. It looks good with the um, head cushion and the footstool. Food here at the boot sale, lapel wraps. It smells really good, whatever's cooking on there. It smells amazing. 
seeing so many nice mirrors today. I have to restrain myself because I seem to have a bit of a thing for mirrors at the moment. Are you excited to see what I got at the car boot sale? This is my car boot sale find from the other week, which is proving a really nice doorstop, nice and weighty. And you like it too, don't you? You've been getting your claws into it a little bit. And they've also got their scratches up now. I've got this one tucked behind the sofa. As you can see, I've still got some plastic on the side of here because little claws have been going up the side, but I'm encouraging them to use this instead. Right then, Mittens, shall we have a look at the bits that I bought from the car boot sale? Okay, I've just taken all my remaining change out of my pocket. I'm gonna pop that ready for next time I head to the boot sale. I do keep all my small change ready for the boot sale because it's so handy just to have some pound coins and 50 Ps when you are buying down at the booty. I have made myself another coffee in my anthropology mug and I've also got, for when I finish filming, a little treat here. I picked up some of these marzipan pralines from Lidl and these are delightful. They're part of the Alpenfest um, range that they had in store this weekend. So we'll have a quick sip and I'll show you what I've got. I'm really pleased with the bits that I found there. I found something very practical that I needed that I've been looking out for and some nice decorative bits too. A 50p bargain in there as well. So quick sip and I'll show you everything that I've got. Let's start off with my biggest item and most expensive one, and it is this mirror. I couldn't resist it. How beautiful is this? So we have this really nice kind of bow ribbon design on the top, and it kind of narrows as it goes down. It's a little bit dusty at the moment, and then you can see it's got another bow on the base here. And yeah, I had a good look at it, and it doesn't seem to be chipped anywhere. Often mirrors like this, when they're so ornate, they do have the odd chip on them. But this one seems to be absolutely fine. And as you can see, it has the sticker on it that says mirror at £20. I thought, well, that's pretty good going. But I thought I'd make a cheeky offer. And I asked um, if the lady would accept 15 and she said yes. And yeah, she popped it in the car for me. I nearly forgot it. I nearly forgot to bring it home with me because that's the thing when you leave something at the boot sale to come and collect later, you do need to remember to go and pick it up, don't you? Especially if it's a boot sale that's not near to your home. Can you imagine driving all the way home and then realizing that you hadn't um, collected something? But yeah, I thought that is a fantastic price, isn't it? For 15 pounds, such a beautiful mirror. And also on the back here, I have noticed it says, made in Italy, and I've got a spot in mind for this already. So yeah, once it's all hung up, I'll need to do a little house tour, I think, soon, show you all the bits that I've been um, doing around the home. I've been doing lots of decorating and such like. Let's dive into the bag of goods, Mary Poppins bag, as we like to call it when I've been down the boot sale, to see what we have in here. And first of all, a pumpkin's just popping in to see what I'm up to. He's got um, water dribbling down his beard. I think he's just had a little drink. Pumpkin, come and see everybody. Come and see everyone. This is actually something that I've got with pumpkin and mittens in mind because I've got to give them their next lot of worming tablets and I need to weigh them. The vet emailed me to say that we need the weight of them um, to get the correct dosage. And I spotted these scales. The chap had three of these boxed up for sale. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure why he had three, but they're all sealed brand new. And yes, Pumpkin! Oh, you like the mirror too? Do you want to say hello to everybody? Just bring you in for a little cuddle. Mm. Are you excited for your new scale? So that's what I'll need you to do, Pumpkin, when I weigh you. You're going to have to stand on them like that, and we'll see how heavy you are now. And I think you are a bit more of a heavy boy these days. Mittens is a bit lighter than you, but um, I thought this would be the best way to weigh them. I wasn't sure. I mean, how do you weigh pets? I'm not sure. <laughs> but I thought with scales, you could obviously stand on them, weigh yourself, and then if you've got a pet that you can hold, hold your pet, and then obviously calculate the difference. So that's the plan. Um, but yeah, they wanted um, £10 for these, and so I offered eight, which he accepted. So eight quid for a pair of these. Now, how do we say this? I feel like we say Huawei. Anyway, um, scale three, and it says it gives you a detailed body composition analysis. So it tells you things like your BMI, your body fat, your skeletal muscle, um, visceral fat, your body mineral, all this kind of stuff. Crikey, that's gonna be interesting, but for eight pounds, I thought that was really good. So yeah, I'll be able to weigh the kitties and 
We'll get your new lot of worming tablets. You're excited about that, aren't you? Not at all. <laughs> I did spy this book, which I like the look of. It's the Savoy Cocktail Book. I'm going to give it a little clean because it's a little bit kind of smeary. I think it's probably been in somebody's kitchen or somebody's been busy making cocktails. It's been covered in fingerprints in the process. Oh, I've just seen it's got, um, you know when you give a book to somebody as a gift and you write in the front, it's actually got a little message in here. But yeah, it's full of cocktail recipes. It's absolutely loads and loads in here. And it looks quite nice, doesn't it? I just thought the book itself looked rather nice and stylish. I can pop that on the bar cart. Imagine that with like a couple of nice martini glasses stacked up on it. 50p, I picked up this Kath Kidson. It's like a little book and it's full of labels and stickers. So I'll just take it out to show you. It opens up like that and then in here, as you can see, we have loads and loads of little stickers. So handy for labelling things or if you were sending like a letter or a card, you could use these to stick on the envelope to jazz it up a little bit and write the address on. You could use like this little circle bit to seal the envelope down, that would be quite nice. And yeah, you've got uh, 200 stickers in here, so there's absolutely loads of them. And I think they wanted a pound for this and offered 50p, which they accepted. So total bargain there. Then the last thing that I got was this book, which is called A Spoonful of Murder by J.M. Hall. And it says retirement can be murder. So every Thursday, three retired school teachers have their coffee o'clock sessions at the First Garden Centre Cafe. But one fatal week, they're catching up with a slice of cake and they bump into an ex-colleague, Topsy. By next Thursday, Topsy's dead. The last thing Liz, Thelma and Pat imagined was that they would become involved in a murder. Liz, Thelma and Pat cannot wait to read this. But they know there's more to Topsy's death than meets the eye and it's down to them to prove it. Sit down with a cup of tea and this is the perfectly witty page-turning mystery. It says fans of the Thursday Murder Club and Midsummer Murders will be hooked. I have seen so many people reading the Thursday Murder Club when I've been on holiday around the pool and that sort of thing. So that is obviously a very popular book. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to reading this. It looks like it'll be quite a fast read as well. And yeah, I just like the sound of that when I looked at it on the back. I quite like the cover too. So I'll let you know how I get on with that. Um, but that is everything that I got from the car boot sale this week. I have got a very exciting rest of the day ahead of me. I'm going to be heading into central London. I'm gonna meet up with some friends and head down to the concert for the coronation in St. James's Park. They've got the big screens up. So I'm hoping to go into the park, have a little bit of a picnic, and hopefully enjoy the sunshine. It's overcast at the moment, but I've got a feeling the sun is going to break through for this evening, hopefully for the concert. So I'm gonna pack a bit of a picnic up and head there to enjoy that. So I might leave you with a few clips from that if I do manage to get into the park and all goes to plan. But yeah, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed the trip to the car boot sale with me. Let me know in the comments which of these items is your favourite? Did you spot anything as we went round the car boot sale too? I always love to read what you've spotted at the stalls, although sometimes, obviously I read it and then have regrets <laughs> I didn't pick up certain things, because you've all got your eyes peeled, I know, and lots of you have been spotting some really interesting things that I've missed as I've gone round, so I do love it when you let me know what you've spied in the comments. Also do let me know your thriller and your rom-com recommendations. If you're watching this on Sunday morning, enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you've been having a lovely weekend whatever it is that you've been up to or whatever time it is that you are watching this video i hope you're having a great day or evening and thank you so much for watching and i will see you very soon bye and i just thought i'd jump on say hello from the concert in st james's park managed to get some really good seats well i say good seats bought our own seats the camping chairs that i picked up the other day we we're really near the screen and the concert's due to start in a couple of hours but it's such a beautiful day here in London today so I just thought I'd jump back on and say hello just to show you what the atmosphere is like here so cheers everybody I'm gonna enjoy the concert now and yeah enjoy the rest of your weekend whatever you're up to I'll just spin you around and show you the screen from here and I'll leave you with a couple of clips from the concert itself and I'll see you very soon bye